lovelies. Hello, hello. Happy new week. Happy new week. This is your girl, Abigail Mensa Bonsu, creator and founder of the Moon Goddess Academy and the Moon Goddess, Goddess Publishing. And this weekly powerful energy, goddess energy forecast that I bring to you. Ah, let's take in a deep breath in because this week is bringing in new energy and is coming in like a swift wind <laughs> and literally like here it, it's like it started last night where um it was so windy it was so windy and it just it's like i felt this like i could breathe you know as i tuned into the wind it's like it was clearing it was clearing old energy so welcome to this week's goddess energy forecast this week is really calling us to find our center to really come back to our hearts because there's a new frequency that is pouring in and because of that the old is being swept up because remember every time there's something new coming in something old has to go right that's just kind of a beautiful cycle right if you hold on to the old there's no more space for the new to come in right and so it makes sense you know we just celebrated the new moon in aries the beginning of the astrological calendar it's a new beginning it's like the another new year right that we get to celebrate and you can really feel it as the you know the spring energy like the trees are beginning to open the buds right um the blossoms are beginning and to show um, like all my garlic and my onions are like all sprouted, right? Life is coming up and that same fire, that same energy is also coming up. But how it's gonna be shown, showing up is very different and unique to each and every one of us, right? If you are in a season where it's like, go, 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 right? then you will really feel the momentum of that fire. If you are in a year where you're being asked to, slow down, replenish yourself, you know, then it's going to be a different kind of energy, right? Where I call it like the, the, the deeper earth fire, where it's more like that deep, deep being, um, that deep nourishment. Um, it's like the fire that moves internally, that creates transformation internally, right? So don't, like my advice to you to is don't look at other people and how they're doing and compare yourself to them because your path is very different from them. What the divine, what your soul is asking from you this year is completely different from what their soul is acting, acting from them too. So really have compassion for yourself. Have compassion for yourself, but it's time for you to tune into your own rhythm and follow your own rhythm you've it's like we've spent or i should say like society has really like trained us to follow this rhythm that it created that is like one you know it's like a one cut for everybody but it doesn't work for everybody because we're all on our own path we all have our own rhythms if you follow numerology or if you if you've been following me around I, if you've been following me, you know, for a while, you know, I talk about the your personal year numbers. Like this is something that I teach the woman in my Goddess Unleashed program, right? About finding, discovering your personal year number and how to sync with that flow of energy and also flow with that energy, right? So that their year is more successful, more grounded, more uh, productive, more fulfilling. Right. And they get to really experience what their soul wants to experience instead of just jumping around everywhere. Right. So, you know, if you haven't discovered your personal year number, you can do that. Go ahead and look up your personal year number. Um, my favorite site to go to is Felicia Benda. Felicia. So how you say it? Felicia? Yeah. Felicia Benda.com. I love her because she's able to really um ground teachings if that makes sense to you so you're able to understand what that means and she does like these weekly forecasts monthly forecasts so you can actually subscribe to her um, mailing list and she will send you the reminders like this week look forward to this or this month this is what will be coming up for you it's powerful 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 that you know everybody should know their personal year number right it is part of how to return back to your rhythm. 
it really takes you to your rhythm you know like it's not like astrology like you know looking at your sun sign your moon your mercury your venus and how that those all those archetypes come together right this is i feel like numerology is about this is the current of your soul's journey here on earth so if you haven't yet go ahead and look up your personal year number for this year and then share it in the comments with me and then read about it spend some time with it learn about what this year what kind of flow your soul has already set in in place for you and that's the thing it's like our soul already knows our path our higher selves are you know already knows our path and the path is already set right but whether or not we're in sync with that path now that is the thing right most of the time most people are not in sync with your path because they look at other people and they want to do what other people are doing because they think that will lead them to where they need to go and meanwhile our soul and our higher self and our divine team all these amazing beings who've signed up to work with us have lit up our path you know in front of us and all we have to do is align and follow right and just trust because it does take courage faith and trust you know, sometimes on the path, I mean, walking on your path, being in alignment with your path, it doesn't mean that everything goes peachy and, you know, there's no challenges. There's still challenges because this is about self mastery. We're, we're here on this planet to master something, whether it's relationships, whether it's family, whether it is, um, you know, soul mission, you know, we're all here to master something soulfully and with that mastery comes challenges so that we can we can uh, mature spiritually so even when you're in aligned when you're following your path you will get those bumps but the only difference is that you will have the tools everything that you need to make it over the mountain to jump over that hill to break through whatever steps in your way. That is the difference. And it's worth it because you know that you're not doing this alone. You're walking the path with millions of your guides with you, your ancestors, your higher self, all the dimensions of yourself, right? You're not doing this alone, but it does take trust, faith, and courage because we are human. Right after a while, and you start looking at someone who is living the life they are already dreaming of, and perhaps for you, it looks like you know it didn't take them that long to get there. You start to wonder if you're doing the right thing. You start to wonder if you're on the right path. But you have to remember that just because someone has mastered that part that you desire doesn't mean that they are on a better path than you. It just means that their mastery is somewhere else so for example let's say you know for some let's say for you like you've mastered relationship that part of your life is beautiful is golden is set right another person has mastered the art of money finances right they're wealthy they're you know like when it comes to that part they're set and all they wish is to meet someone and so they look at you and say oh my gosh you must be doing something right and i must be doing something wrong because i haven't met my beloved yet but that is not the case is it so both of you on two on two different paths your own soul soulfully unique paths and if you continue, if you trust and have faith and you continue and you, you work through the challenges that come in because whatever comes through is what you need to do to move to the next level, right? And the sooner you can get through that, the sooner you can move to that next level. We have to honor our own path. We have to have courage enough to honor on our own path. And we also have to acknowledge that we're not doing this by ourselves and that being on our path doesn't also mean that everything is peachy and easy. There will be challenges, but you will have the tools to break through those challenges. This message is coming in very strongly, and it's no surprise that beloved Isis is coming in to really support us this week through this, right? new frequency new energy blowing in 
and the wind blowing away all the old energy so that we can take in more than that new light, new fire, new, new energy, new frequency, right? So taking a deep breath in here. <sighs> Place your hand on your heart. I want you to tune into your heart rhythm, your heartbeat. And right now, I want you to make a promise to yourself that you will follow your soul's path, regardless of what comes up, that you will have patience for yourself and compassion for yourself, that you will have faith that all is well, because all is well. Everything in the universe is con conspiring for your success. But you have to be aware of that. You have to, you have to embrace that, that truth. So make that promise to yourself. Even if you're afraid, acknowledge that. Acknowledge that fear, the anxiety of choosing to walk your own path, of choosing to find your rhythm and your own flow and your unique your unique rhythm in this life. I'm really seeing that like being pushed to the forefront. And this might be very challenging for most, you know, most people, especially those who have um, acclimated to other people's rhythms for a long time to the point that they don't even know their own rhythm anymore. They don't even... It's not even in the awareness anymore. And in that case, it will be scary, right? It's like, what is this? I, I can't do that. I'm comfortable over here. Why would I do that? But you remember, we've reached the energy point where when is go is go. There's no dilly-dallying. There's no babying. There's no sugarcoating. We need to move on. So we are being moved on, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. It's like, whether you, it's like whether you want it or not, you're ready. You're moving forward, right? And it's not to punish you. It's to get you to where you know you need to be. You've been praying for this for how long? You've been asking for this for how long? And the sooner you get through the things you need to get through, the sooner you get to where you need to be and experience the life that you want to experience. Do you see where I'm going? You got this. You got this. Compassion, trust, faith, and courage. Write these down. Write these four words down, put them on your altar, put them somewhere that you can see because you do, we all need this moving forward. I mean, we, we've always needed it. So that when you forget and you start being hard on yourself because things are not working out the way that you thought or other people are putting pressure on you because your path doesn't look like everyone else, you come back to your heart. You find the rhythm of your heartbeat and you find compassion for yourself. Call in beloved Kuan Yin to grace you, to bless you with compassion. Find your courage <laughs> with the lioness goddess. <laughs> find faith with Mother Mary. Find your strength and your power through beloved Isis. So I love that Isis is here to guide us this week. Are you ready? So place your hand on your heart. Close your eyes. Take in some deep breaths in. Really feel your heartbeat and breathe into your heart. Go ahead and call in your higher self into your heart and ask your beautiful divine team to surround you in a golden circle of light. I'm gonna ask heaven and earth to merge within your heart now and really 
see, sense, or feel those two lights coming from above and below, above from the heart of source and below from the heart of the Divine Mother, both coming up and merging within your heart. And when they do, they create this crystalline diamond light. And as you breathe into your heart, this crystalline diamond light expands and gets bigger and bigger, flowing through your entire body into every vessel, every organ, every cell, and it expands outwardly around your body and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And breathe into the space of expansion. Really feel yourself grounded into the earth and anchored above into the heavens. Breathe as you merge your divinity and your humanity into the here and now. I call in beloved Isis, I call in your higher self and your beloved team, all of our beloved's team to come in and guide us through this week. Thank you, beloved Isis, for your messages. At this point, go ahead and ask which of these messages from beloved Isis is for my highest good this week. One, two, or three. And once you have received your number or numbers, go ahead and open your eyes, ready to receive. So we are working with beloved Isis. As you guys know, Isis is one of my girls. It's my soul, so, so connected. She has been in my life since I was born and she will be with me even after. <laughs> We're very close, let's just put it that way. So um, I'm very happy that she's gonna be coming in to mentor you this week. She is powerful powerful magic. So I'm excited to see which messages or message came in to support you this week. So let's see here. If you received card number one, here's your card. Your message from beloved Isis is stay true and be in your power. Stay true and be in your power. I want you to close your eyes and put your hands on your heart and receive this first part from Isis. You are a sovereign divine being with spiritual authority and freedom within you. You do not need permission from anyone to be who you are and live your life as you choose to. This is your divine birthright. Guard it as the precious treasure that it is. And remember that you are a divine being. Taking a deep breath in and out. And now receive the message. The flail and crook, which is what she's holding, the flail and crook often held by Osiris are symbols of divine royalty and dominion. These symbols remind us that within we hold great dominion, spiritual authority and freedom to be the sovereign ruler of our own self. This does not mean that we have to control life or others or even the environment around us but it does give us complete and utter choice to become as spiritually awake free and self-determined as we wish to be as well as providing us with complete choice as to what our values and actions will be this lifetime there's no permission required from anybody apart from yourself to be and live your truth there are many voices that will test you on the journey from illus illusory shackles of fear, loss, or abandonment that may hold you back or tempt you into giving your power away to others. You shall awaken from the testing into the realization of spiritual independence within. Of course, there's more to spiritual authority than just recognizing that it lies within you. There are times when you must act on it, guard it, and protect it, which means recognizing when others seek to exert influence over you for their own reasons, or when you are being manipulated out of your own authority, becoming blind to your own power of choice, and instead believing that things just are the way that they are, and you cannot question or query. 
sometimes during, during these challenges to wield a crook and flail, which is what she's holding, to exert one's own spiritual authority requires that you stand your ground and remain true to your knowing. This is not about achieving a certain outcome or attempting to control something or someone or even forcing things to be as you wish they could be. Standing your ground means always telling yourself the truth and not selling out or giving away something that has genuinely, genuine spiritual truth and meaning for you. It is not about making another see things the same way. It is about honoring your own truth. And if your truth is wise enough to include compassion, then honoring the other, even when the other degree disagrees with you or seeks to harm you out of their own fear. You do not have to challenge another in order to honor your truths and inner authority. If you feel that another has to agree with you in order for your authority to be intact, then it, is, it isn't genuine inner authority at all. The fact that you don't need to have the agreement of others in order to live an empowered life can be a liberating realization. Yet there are times when life can feel like an assault against your truth with many, many challenging you. For those souls who have come to master spiritual authority this lifetime, there is a test to remain true without becoming dogmatic, to honor what you know is true without minimizing, judge, judging, or dismissing the truth of another that are different to yours, but just as true for them. You have the power to create and own your own re and own your reality and don't need permission from anyone else to do this. Honor your spiritual sovereignty. Let Lady Isis help you find your spiritual authority and freedom of choice now. Taking a deep breath in and out. Whew. Let's move on to card number two. The way I want you to receive this message, if you can just continue and breathe in into your heart and receive it, and just listen to my voice and listen to the words that are coming out, it will feel better because the messages can be long, but it's so potent. So let's move on to card number two, the goddess of 10,000 names. I love, love this card. All right, here's the beautiful card. Isis, endless emanations of the priestess. Here's her message for you. And you remember, place your hand on your heart, or you can look at the card and receive this. And then afterwards, you can breathe into your heart as you receive the rest of the message. So Isis with many names, forms, associations, and expressions is referred to as the goddess of 10,000 names. A name holds power. It defines and energizes all limits. The names, faces, and roles that you play are just one part of your being, yet you exist beyond, beloved. You exist beyond them, beloved initiate, as a vast being. You are currently realizing that you are not limited by previous identities you hold or you held. Instead, you are becoming more of your whole self, enjoy the uncovering of even more of you mm. so here is the the message just like the lady isis you are multifaceted multi-dimensional being it is most helpful at this phase in your path that you learn not to attach to roles or identities that may have once held great importance for you or others relating to you. It does not mean that you must cease to relate to that name or role, more that you are realizing it is only a part of you. There's even more of you wishing to express itself now. The roles are needed to move beyond, the roles you are needing to move beyond might be mother, 
executive healer, good person, strong person, always in control, daughter, teacher, or guru, grandmother, or, and so on. There's nothing wrong with these roles, and you may still express part of your vast self through such roles, but you are at a significant point in your inner development where you are learning that these are not who you are, but simply expressions of the external endless self, uncontainable by any human descriptions. It can be tricky to avoid getting stuck in roles that others prescribe for you or expect of you. And yet your self-definition will become wider and your experience of yourself will be more real and fulfilling if you are open to discovering more of you. For this to happen, you must be willing to allow the many varied faces of your being, your 10,000 names, to begin to emerge in your awareness, to realize that you are more than you currently imagine yourself to be. This opens up tremendous freedom of choice and possibility in life. This can be both exhilarating and terrifying. Trust that the self is, in essence, divine love, and there is great joy in its unfoldment. Even if there are challenges to let go of the fears that have held us trapped in certain roles and identities at, at times, the call to let go of old identity is very strong, leading you to this oracle at this time, when a new, more whole, fulfilling, and truthful sense of identity awaits you. Any fear, struggle that you go through to allow this to happen, beloved, will be spiritually repaid to you, multiplied in so many ways. There's nothing to lose except old limitations and so much wonder and joy to be gained. This oracle also indicates that there's a spiritual name waiting for you on the inner planes. The name may come from ver various spiritual traditions as a name of a deity or a sacred mantra, or it could be an actual name that you can sound out and use in meditation or sacred temple activities with spiritual groups. That name may also simply be a note, an inner awareness of a sound, and it can be sourced by going into your heart, almost felt more than heard or spoken. The spiritual name is coming to you to help you deepen your connection with yourself. This spiritual name is coming to you to help you deepen your connection with yourself. Like any other identity, it is just a representation for time. You do not need to pack up your old life and search for an entirely new one unless your heart deeply guides you with peace and neutrality, neutrality that this is what it needs for your spiritual growth. More often than not, taking a deep breath in here and out, card number two. And what I'm going to do, because there is a healing meditation at the end with each card or an activation. So I'm going to come back and we're going to do that to close the um, to close the energy forecast. So let's move on to card number three, which is the scales of balance. Let's see here. Here's the card taking a deep breath in as you receive the main message. So this card is about. The ancient tantra of the soul. I love that the card number three um, is kind of like continuing about deepening into yourself from card number two, right? So here's the message from beloved Isis. And again, you can look at the card as you receive it, or you can place your hand on your heart and breathe into your heart to receive this. You are a tantrika and initiate on the path of divine healing of the masculine and feminine, the two sacred polarities that are universal to hum human experience. As these energies come into mutual respect and balance, you attain great power, presence, and healing effect in the world of the soul in the human world of forms here on this earth. You are supported in further exploring this path now under the auspices and blessings of beloved Isis. 
Here's the message. You are in the process of sacred relationship healing of the divine masculine and divine feminine energies within your own self, soul. This is the advanced spiritual path of Tantra. It is the connection of the body and soul. The effect of this inner divine relationship healing is genuine enlightenment of the mind and the body. The body becomes a living sacred temple of light, energy, and wild aliveness. This embodiment can be experienced in movement, in deep stillness, in vitality, and in quiet quietness. You are a tantrika, a sacred priest or priestess of the tantric arts. Some people mistakenly believe that tantra is simply about sexuality, but it is in truth the journey of the soul to bring masculine and feminine polarities into wholeness, love, unity, and empowerment, to learn to be the enlightened path in every element of your being. This is soul building work that is in great service to the spiritual healing and evolution of humanity, which is in deep need of those, of those such as yourself, who can help create sacred connection between mind and body. It might be through your own personal healing of your body-mind connection and perhaps through your healing services for others that you walk your tantric path. It might be done in a private way or in an obvious way. What matters is that it feels right to you. Walking this path authentic authentically is choice. is a choice to live in dedication to the sacred work of Isis, who taught us about the creative power that could come of healing, healing the relationship between masculine and feminine consciousness. You are guided to accept this healing through learning to balance the masculine and feminine energies within yourself and your relationships with others. Balancing give and take, directing and flowing, play and solitude are ways to do this now. Learning to feel as comfortable as possible with your sexual and spiritual nature, seeing how they can complement rather than compete with each other is helpful too. Connection with the body is the most powerful form of healing for the feminine energy as it holds the secret to divine feminine wisdom. This can occur through movement, dance, and yoga that is based on body awareness and presence, rather than necessarily involving fast-flowing postures that may take you more into your head than your body. You can come more into your body through time in nature, swimming, laying in the sun, resting, or walking, providing that, provided that you stay present to the physical sensation that you experience. Taking a deep breath in and out. So now let's start the healing process. So we're gonna come back to card number one. So just close your eyes, place your hand on your heart. Breathe into your heart, breathe into your body. And be open. Card number one. This is for those who received one. Closing your eyes. Imagine that you can start with awareness with your heart. And it can travel down through your body, touching your navel with light. And all the way down through your feet until it forms roots into the earth. Allow those roots of light to travel up through your body. To your heart and then up to your throat. And imagine the light growing in your throat. Then gently expanding out in all direction, creating an aura of light all around you. Now repeat after me. I now choose 
of my own free will to honor my authority, responsibility, freedom, and strength. I now choose to take back my power and my authority. I respect myself, I honor my power, and I allow myself to have full spiritual authority in my life. I now choose to break any contract or vow that I have ever made with another being in which I allow them to exert spiritual authority over me. I now choose to honor my own divinity and I allow myself to have full possession of myself. With gratitude for the precious gift of spiritual sovereignty, I now honor my own divine power responsibility and freedom so be it breathe in deeply and exhale fully breathe in again and exhale breathe in a third time and exhale and be aware of the light in your belly supported by the energy from the earth and let it rise up to your stomach area then up to your heart your throat and forehead let it rise up to the top of your head and enjoy this rising of light when you're ready just bring the focus back to your belly again receive this incantation crook and flail flail and crook i now declare with intention clear i am a sovereign being of love divine i call back my power full and complete i break all vows of giving away my authority i release the lie that my authority may be taken from me I surrender only to the light of my own divine essence. Crook and flail, flail and crook. I now declare with intentions clear, I am a sovereign being of love divine. Taking a deep breath in and out. Card number two. Go back to your, your breathing. Place your hand on your heart. Close your eyes. I want you to follow your breath into your heart space and be aware of a vast space there. Rest in the space. Now repeat after me. I open to receive in unconditional love the spiritual name that will help me this week as I grow into conscious realization of more of my vast divine self. Be in your heart at this time. And imagine that through the vastness of that inner space, light and sound is weaving towards you in a unique pattern of color, movement and geometry. You may hear, sense, feel, or perceive a name, sound, or pattern, or it may be happening beneath the level of your conscious awareness, which is fine too. Just let it come to you as obviously or as subtly as it wishes to, but this will serve you best. Imagine the pattern, vibration, name, sound, or light drawing effortlessly into your heart and feeling the essence of that pattern, name, sound, light, or vibration. This is a gift from your divine essence. Don't analyze it, just allow it to flow. Whatever does or does not happen, obviously is perfect for you. Once you are fully connected with your heart, 
You may repeat thank you. And if you haven't yet, place your hand on your heart and receive this invocation. Om Isis, Om Maha Isis, Om Isis, Om Maha Isis, Om Isis, Om Maha Isis, Isis of 10,000 nominations, Om Isis, Om Maha Isis. Isis of endless emanation. I live my true self in all its glory. I now release outdated story. I let go of who I used to be. I let go of my history. I step forward into a new me, blossoming beyond identity. I receive the name of myself newborn. I now let go of all that is outworn. Om Isis, Om Maha Isis, Isis of 10,000 names and more. Om Isis, Maha Isis, bless me with self-knowledge pure. Taking a deep breath in and out. Card number three. If you receive card number three, bring your awareness to your heart. Breathe into your heart. So with this healing process, if you received, receive three, you can go ahead and lay down in a comfortable position, preferably on your back with one hand resting on your pubic bone below your belly and one hand resting near your heart and focus on your breath. Imagine that you can breathe all the way down to the belly, feeling it rise and fall with the breath. Imagine thoughts falling away and all you notice is the breath. If you start thinking, it is a trigger to go back to the breath and the rise and fall of the belly and chest under your hands. Allow the energy in your belly to grow like a bright sun, growing with the breath, neither too warm nor too cool, just growing comfortably fed by the breath. Allow the energy to grow until it flows all the way down your legs. You may feel sexual energy staring as you focus your breath. And if so, just stay relaxed and focus your hand resting on your belly. And the energy growing and spreading through your body in a pleasant, comfortable way. As your awareness goes deeper within, Imagine that you can become aware of the heart chakra. Become aware of this center in your chest being nourished with the energy that is growing deep in the belly. Imagine the energy rising from the belly and warming the heart and love from the heart responding and traveling down into your belly. Keep the sensations comfortable and relaxed allowing thoughts to drift away as you more deeply engage with your body. Allow yourself to take awareness deeper into the space within your body. With peaceful respect and patient love, it will open to you. Starting with awareness resting in your body and then in your heart. Imagine as if a powerful inner light is flickered on and your awareness grows, becoming sensitive to the light that is within your body. Taking a deep breath in and out. You may feel, sense, or see light, love, sexual, and spiritual energy, or simply the sensation of being aware within your body. 
whatever you feel is perfect for you at this time. Feel the love of your heart growing and the energy in your belly flowing. The more aware you are of your body, the more deeply you shall descend into tantric awakening of the body of light. That perfectly balanced masculine and feminine consciousness brought to life in an awakened body. It feels beautiful, peaceful, sublime, and very alive to be in such a state. Stay with this sacred communion process until you feel ready to re-emerge more whole and refreshed. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and say aloud, I love and approve of myself unconditionally. I call upon those beings who love me unconditionally and ask for healing, protection, and assistance that any negativity or clearing that all cares from my work today be released with the least harm to myself or others. May I be blessed. And now receive the incantation. The scales are balanced with perfection, feminine and masculine in divine connection, surrender and strength, body and soul, together are loved, united and whole. I know when to act and when to rest, scales of balance allow harmony to vest. Deep within, I am now at peace as in balance, I effortlessly now release. I feel balance, wholeness, and vitality as I balance and heal my divine humanity. Taking a deep breath in here and out. Thank you, beloved Isis, for your healing, activation, and protection and guidance this week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As you can see, the healing coming through, when you work with beloved Isis, it is deep and potent. So I invite you to come in and at least do the, listen to the incantation and do the healing process, you know, um, that is related to the card, all the cards that you received for this week. It will serve you greatly. I wanna thank you for receiving this week's potent goddess energy forecast thank you for mentoring with isis and allowing isis to come in and be of service to you i want you to go ahead and share your experience in the comments with me how did this resonate with you how did it feel in your body when you did the healing processes and the incantations thank you so much for being here I invite you to share this forecast with anyone that you you feel like would benefit them. Share away. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. From my heart to yours. Have a blessed week. Bye.